Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Beautiful You Show. Today I am coming to you with a book review. So the book I am reviewing is Becoming by Michelle Obama. This is the hardcover. I happen to have read it on audiobook. On the audiobook there are 170 tracks. Um, each track is just a few minutes long, ranging from like zero to like seven minutes, I think was the longest track. Um, what I love about listening to the audiobook is that you can up the speed. So I listened to it on 1.25. Uh, she reads her own book. So she is the one um, dictating her book. So she reads her own uh, her own book. And she does it at a very slow pace. So 1.25, 1.5, if you want to change the speed, was still good. You could still catch everything that she was reading. This is my friend's book that I'm borrowing. I'm glad I did, just to show you guys for the review. This is 470, no, 426 pages long. Um, the difference is that she has pictures in the book. So if you have a choice, I would recommend, if you can, if you like reading books, I would recommend the hardcover copy over the audiobook. Um, but the audiobook is very convenient. You can listen to it in your car. And like I said, you can uh, speed up the recording. Um, pros of this book. I really enjoyed reading this book. I had not really been a Michelle Obama fan uh, prior to reading her book. I just, I didn't know much about her other than she was the president's wife or the president at the time. Do they? I think they always get referred to as president. Um, and I really didn't know much. I knew a little bit more about the president because he was the one doing all the interviews, um, campaigning and stuff like that. So I didn't have, you know, um, an opinion either way about her. But I did, like I said, see her on podcasts and I saw a couple of interviews. So that intrigued me. And I really enjoyed listening to what she had to share on there. And the book is the same. It did not disappoint. It takes you from her childhood all the way to her life as first lady. And I think the first couple of days after um, they finished their time in the White House. And so you got to see... Um, who Michelle Obama was, how her childhood was, what she grew up with, the influences, the experiences that she had. It takes you from, you know, elementary school to intermediate to high school and then on to college and then on to her career where she met Obama. And so I like that. Um, what this book did was it made me like Obama even more. So she gives you the background about Obama and who knows or who usually knows someone, you know, more who usually knows more about someone than their spouse or their other half. They can tell you, you know, all their quirks, all their characteristics, all their qualities. Um, and it really made me like him even more if that was possible. I liked him as president um, and I like him even more after reading her book. What I liked is that he has a global perspective in the sense where he knows that there is a whole other world that exists other than his perspective at the time. And I like that about him. He grew up, you know, with half siblings. He spent some of his childhood in another country. Um, and he spent time with his mom and then his grandparents and so it really gave him <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me this type of global perspective or experience that <coughs> there is a whole other world existing other than the world that he's living in and you see the contrast with Michelle's life where she grew up with family all over her parents were together for many many years so she had stability she had security um, and she really had kind of an ideal childhood um, from a although it was in a 
uh, African American lens. And what I also like is that she gave you the background of how it was to be an African American in the world at that time. And I like that because you hear the stories, you hear the experiences that her family has had. I think if I remember correctly, her family um, were actually descendants of slaves. And so you got to hear that perspective and how it affected some of the members in her family. Um, and I, I like having, <coughs> excuse me, firsthand accounts or well it's second hand because she's sharing it with us of what that experience is like because I think for a lot of people it's easy to just brush things under the rug so to speak you know uh, we don't like to feel bad about ourselves we don't like to know that we made negative choices or we did things that was uh, different than how we would like to think of ourselves and so, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know why I can't keep coughing, but I did record this video or try to record this video three times. So I think I'm just, my throat is uh, sore for, from talking so much, but thank you so much for being with me. Um, but it really put into perspective and gave you like a lens or a frame of reference of what it was like um, for people that experienced it firsthand. Uh, and it is sad that racism and prejudice, um, thoughts and ideas, it exists. And so, like, you really saw how the Obamas as the first family, the first African-American family in the White House, um, they kind of had to work extra hard just to have a normal, not a normal, but just to have a, um, positive existence so it was almost like they were being judged at um at a higher standard than than anybody else and they weren't only being judged from <coughs> non-african americans but from african americans and so they were also setting the example for people all over the nation you know of of and kind of representing African Americans all over. And so I really enjoyed this book. I recommend for anybody to read it. Um, it really is a good book. It's real well written. The stories that she shares are really um, interesting. If you have read the book, please let me know what you think. And if you haven't, I hope you, I hope you pick it up. Um, I hope she writes more. I really do. I loved hearing about their stories. Um, one thing I like is that she kind of brings Obama down to earth because sometimes he can be really heady, right? Well, that's my experience. Um, because he does think globally and he thinks long term and he thinks, you know, he's really intellectual in the way that he, he thinks. So she does kind of like bring him down to earth. So I would love for them to either, um write more books or write a book together I think that would be wonderful but thank you so much for watching this review and I hope to see you next time